kind of performance with a normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we're just about to start laying down some green here on the old 4020. <clears throat> so, we've got everything uh, all cleaned and sanded up and ready, what, what not. Anyways, the uh, bucket ain't great, but I mean the bucket's the bucket that's going to get the piss beat out of it anyway. And, uh, yeah, we're just about to start here. So, Let's get painting.
Well, it's the next day. We're at the uh, Ivan Morrow frame and carriage works straightening outing facility. <laughs> Look at that thing. Ah, uh, they broke their blade frame. It was all mangled six different directions from fuck. So dad's been having a three-way tug of war here for the last couple hours and got things damn near back where they need to be. 4020 dragging that 4640 around like it's fuck all. Leverage. <laughs> Worried it was going to pull that in half, but I mean, is what it is. <laughs> so, he's going to lay a... Well, this has been... He welded all of this last night. I'm going to lay a bead on there and let the pressure off and they're going to take the bucket and push down to try to get things back. Not going to reach, is it? Sure. my life. <laughs> anyway, so that's the plan for right now. There's a cow calving over there. Waiting for Rob to show up so he can fix that roof. Keegan's playing in the snow that's left. Fun and games. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So we got this guy sorted out, what was wrong with him. We tested the injector and it was okay. What in the hell? So talking to Colin Martin, the guy who came out and helped put the charger in that and they came out and looked this engine over and everything there and we checked out the uh, pistons and everything. He said something they've seen before is if the injection line is putting too much pressure one way or the other on the injector it won't allow the little needle in there to make its full stroke and it won't atomize the fuel properly so we pissed around with it and got everything nice and straight and limbered up the best that we could and lo and behold i've never heard this tractor run so good <laughs> uh, so i can't fucking wait till spring to hook him up on a cultivator here it's coming soon duels on her i think the black ties was a good call i think that looks good instead of all yellow kind of makes things pop a little bit in my opinion yeah 24 5 32 duels <whistles> that is nice <laughs> anyway just look at her Oh boy, it's the next day again. <laughs> kind of getting behind on the making vidges, but it's just been crazy flat out balls to the wall around here lately. Right, Mouse? Fluffy Tanya? How's Mouse? Hey, eh? how's your BB? How's the Mousy baby? Eh? Hey, buddy. Eh? Hey? And then there's Flurfy Tanya, but yeah, so doubled the size of the herd again here. Here's the, uh, what did we bring home yesterday? Six of them. Here's five that are real close to calving, so I wanted them here for keeping an eye on, and the other ones aren't as close, so probably bring them home uh, probably tomorrow, and they can just go in with the uh, the other girls over there. This one on the hill over here, that tan one is one we're really watching she started calving <laughs> and uh we had to pull one here yesterday she was like two weeks overdue that she cooked them made a 110 pound calf hey brockle tan there's her baby that black one hey dot and all the babies there okay so there's another one that we brought home and that's her little heifer calf. She's a real sweetheart too, that one. They're all real nice, calm animals from them. But Here's White Face and her big moosey baby. Hey, How are you, big moose? Big moosey baby. Having a snooze. So I had to pull him yesterday. It wasn't a big deal. 
put her in the chute and dad and I just pulled her with the by hand with the chains big uh, bull calf they're all bull calves so far except for that little heifer we brought home and she's a free Martin she was a twin but the twin with the uh, bull calf was dead but she was all right having just sawing logs there <laughs> so bottom out of this herd there's 24 and a purebred five-year-old red angus bull that's actually willie's dad and i bought his baler uh 605 605k vermeer uh it's like a 2004 or five that's gonna go real nice with the amanda's new cow tractor that's on its way <laughs> uh so yeah all those animals and then uh his hundred acres of pasture He's actually just kitty corner, our lane comes down, and then this is ours, and he's kitty corner along the creek. So when it's time to rent animals out to pasture, I can uh, just set a couple panels up and just walk them across the road, one pasture to the other. So that's gonna work out just fucking mint. Hey, Dot. Here's Dot Face's baby over here, this little white face guy. Hey eyebrows, big bastard anyway. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Eh. Oh. Nice in the sun and I'm disturbing everybody, eh? Anyway, so, uh, that's kind of all I gotta tell you right now about the cows. So we'll uh, take a swing up over by the sprayer, show you what Rob's been working on, and then that's probably be the end of the vidya. Ah, I forgot to walk over and look at what Kevin was up, or Kevin, Rob was up to. So fuck it, next time. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's where I'm gonna leave you, so make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe for more. Talk to all you in the next one. <laughs>